Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today we're going to have a special video because we're going to talk about a window crown. And this application can be used for different other methods like gingival reduction guides or if you want to have a pre-treatment guide cut out, you can use this technique as well. If you're new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It would be great. So let's get right in it. So we need to create a new order form and what we're going to use, you only use one, two, you select one, two, um, select by splint, you can use 3D printing, don't worry about the settings. And you can load in the scans, you only need to load in one arch um, in the new 3.1, it's actually 3.2 or a second release of ExtraCAD, you can have a 3D preview. So you orientate the model as usual and you want to make sure that you orientate the model in the way that you don't have so many undercuts. Um, you get the bottoms right, then you fabricate the guide. And in this, in this case, what I do, I lower my settings and the settings are up to you. You, you can put it as thin as you want and as thick as you want. Um, I will show some examples when I'm done with the markings here. You outline at the CJ of the crown because that's going to be your border of the window crown. Outline it and at the last point you're going to click on it. And you can see how actually thick it is. You can make it thinner, you can make it thicker. That's completely up to you. In this case, I made it, I made it a little bit thinner and made the smoothing to 0.3. Um, that's it. Make sure you make sure that it's um, flush at the margin and then you go to save as at the stage, save the scene and ready to cut window. That's all you do in this stage. Then you make a new order form. You call it a window cut crowns and you select telescopic primary crown. Um, hold, hold the shift button. You can select any material that, that you want. Don't worry about it. Hold the shift button click on, in this case, number 11, so they're all getting marked. And you use the exactly the same model. You orientate it in ExoCAD, like here. And then you're going to mark the margins as you will see it in the window. So in this step, you have to be very careful and actually mark them how the windows are going to look like. So a good advice is going to be one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter from the margins or from the incisal, you're going to start your window. So this step, you have to be a little bit, a little bit careful and spend some extra time on this. I'm going to go to free form and start marking my margins. Like I said, you have to be really careful because this is going to be your window cutter. I'm going to take my time here. I'm going to go around and you can make any shapes in this case. You can make circles, you can make squares, whatever you want to cut out. It doesn't really matter. Um, the, the important thing is that it's going to be even, that it's going to be nice, that it's going to be no, no bumps and that all the windows are in the same position from the margin. So I'm taking a little bit more care here and make it nice and flush so I have a nice curve here. So that should be that should be good enough. Um, I'm gonna do this for for all my teeth. And when I'm done with everything, it should look like this. So all the other things are done. The important step is here I want to have the cement gap at zero. So I don't want to have any extra cement gap. I put it at zero so it's flush because all I need is actually the surface. All I need is this window cutout. That's all I need. So now when I am um, ready to position my teeth, before I'm going to do this, I want to make sure my insertion or the insertion direction is straight on the tooth. I'm going to do this 
orientate the tool so it's facing towards me and I'm gonna press set to current view. This works only in export mode. So if you are in wizard mode, you have to go to export mode, you have to go to insertion direction in the menu and click on every tools from the menu and set them manually. It's an important step. Then here, I don't have to do much. I just put the teeth in an order so they're all upwards. I make them connect to the margin and I don't spend, I don't spend much time here. All I do is um, smooth them out now. Now I'm gonna go to the flatten, so press shift and make the brush really strong, make the, si make the brush size really strong and just keep smoothing. Hold the shift button and smooth it out so it's almost flat. Don't, don't worry about minimum thickness gaps, don't worry about anything, make it, make it just flat. And once you're done, click next. And here you're gonna go to the telescopic copic part. Um, you wanna make sure that you disengage or unclick uniform insertion direction because the telescopic copings usually have a uniform insertion direction. In this case, we don't need this. All we need is the single ones, the individual ones, so we can make the insertion direction basically as the same insertion direction as the margins. Then click control, hold control, and click on the little tiny sphere here and drag it out while you hit control. Just click it and drag it and do this for all the teeth. Sometimes they're gonna morph a little bit. You have to play around. Be careful that you straighten them out really carefully. And when you're done, click next. So here you have all your parts. Um, you go to merge parts and you make only one visible. Click, right click, save, save as mesh, call it number 11, click yes, same orientation, um, unclick it, next one, save as mesh, name it number 10, and you're gonna do this for every single one once you go to number six. So um, you're gonna load your original night guard or bite splint case, you're gonna load it and click on design. And there you're gonna go to ready to cut window. That is the scene we saved in the last one. So it's gonna load up the scene. You're gonna go to expert mode and in expert mode, um, make sure that it's merged, it only works if the whole thing is merged, we're gonna to go to freeform merged restoration. It doesn't work in the regular freeform step. It needs to be merged. So freeform merged, go to attachments. And you can, you can turn off the minimum thickness if you want. So if, if you don't wanna see all this red going on there, go to attachments and go to subtract. That's important. You don't wanna add something. You don't wanna, sub, you wanna subtract something. Go to library and scroll all the way down to load file. And here you're gonna load your files you created from the original, from the cutting method that we did. Most important is that you click on ro rotate and allow design changes. So check this mark, click apply, and then it will cut out this little window. So it might take a while, but here it is. So it cut out a little window. You're gonna do the same step. So don't click OK. Just click on the next step. Um, load the next file that you did. Click Rotate. It will position it perfectly there. Click Apply. Wait until it's cut out. And load each one. Um, when, you, when you're done, when you have loaded everything, click OK and it will close the attachment module. And that should be basically it. That, that, that's the whole step. It's a really easy process. You can make it for gingerbread reduction guides. So you, you're gonna extend it in a little bit and maybe make another video about this. But there you have it. That's it, very easy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, please do um, hit the not notification bell and I'm gonna see you next time.
Thank you very much. Hey!